Before an agent can submit a bid for a HUD home online, he sits down with a buyer who signs a paper contract in blue ink. We are going to go through that contract page by page so you will know what a buyer should expect, what he needs to be prepared, and how to proceed. HUDHomestore.com contains all of the information and documents you need to prepare a purchase agreement for a buyer of a HUD home. Go to HUDHomestore.com and click on your state. At HUDHomestore.com, navigate to a property in your market area. This is a property in Tucson, Arizona we will use as an example to prepare a contract. The list price is $62,000, and HUD is offering SHA financing with an escrow amount of $4,400. The property detail page has tabs at the top. Click on the addendums page for the contract. The property addendum page contains important documents and files you can download. The buyer also has access to these documents. Educate your HUD Homes buyers to use HUDHomestore.com to learn more about properties that pique their interest. The first document we will consider here is the disclosure document at the top of the document queue. The disclosure document lists repairs the property will need to pass minimum FHA property standards. In this case, the, prop, the document discloses deficiencies in roof condition and cooling mechanics. FHA will offer financing with an escrow sufficient to cover the cost of these repairs. Total cost of repairs is projected to be $4,000. Note there is a 10% contingency reserve added to the total to cover unforeseen expenses. If repairs amount to less than the total amount of the escrow, the remaining funds will be applied to the principal balance of the loan. There is an investor package link for a set of purchase agreement documents for a non-owner occupant bidder of a HUD home. The PCR is the property condition report. Download this important document attached to any HUD home you may show. This document will be removed from the website when a bid is accepted. Accepted bids fall through on occasion, and if that happens, and you have buyers who remain interested in the property, it's handy to refer to this document. Create a HUD Homes folder on your computer with subfolders for specific properties. Keep information handy in those subfolders for subsequent use. The property condition report is a very handy one-page sheet with notes about property condition, mechanical operating systems, and roofing. This document does not eliminate the importance of an independent home inspection, however. Remember, HUD recommends all buyers hire their own inspectors for an independent evaluation of a property following bid acceptance. The Selling Broker Quick Reference Guide is a very important document containing do's and don'ts about HUD home sales. There is a unique document prepared for each marketing region. Print two copies. Keep one in your office and keep one handy within reach at all times when you're showing properties. You never know when it might come in handy. The Owner Occupant Sales Package is a collection of documents to gather your buyer's signatures. Download the Owner Occupant Sales Package, save a copy to your hard drive, and print a copy for review. If you have never written a HUD contract, select a property in your marketplace and write a sample contract from start to finish when you complete this lesson. Work with a business associate and compare notes. Be ready when it's time to write your first HUD contract in the field. The Owner Occupant Sales Package is a PDF document you prepare on your computer. There are fillable fields in the document for most of the information you need about the buyer, the property, and the selling agent and broker. The first page of the document asks you to input information that will populate data fields on subsequent pages of the contract. You will see this pop-up window the first time you enter data into the document. It tells you that you cannot save information or close the document and come back later to revise the information. The document will hold your data only as long as the document is open and live. You must print this document and collect the buyer's signature as well as the broker's signature prior to submitting the bid online. If you close this document prior to printing the contract, 
you will have to open a blank document and start over again. The instruction page has line-by-line -line instructions for completing the HUD contract. Read this and keep a copy handy to check the accuracy of your contract preparation. Remember, a paper contract must be prepared and signed prior to submitting an online bid. The contract must contain the signatures of the buyer and the selling broker, and the selling broker must have earnest money in hand and certified funds prior to submitting the bid online. There are no exceptions to this rule. Type in the FHA case number and property address, including city, state, zip code, and county. Enter all purchase information very carefully. Enter complete names of buyers where indicated. In this case, the buyers are married and they are taking title as husband and wife as joint tenants with rights of survivorship. This is an Arizona purchase contract. In other states, married people may take possession as tenants of the entireties. Know how your buyers want to take title so you can enter this information on the purchase contract. Be very careful to enter the correct Social Security number here and when you submit the bid online. If there is a discrepancy between Social Security numbers and different numbers appear on the written document and online submission, you stand the risk of bid cancellation after a bid is accepted. Diligence in this regard is paramount. Enter all the business information carefully. Use the broker's EIN and need number. You will need these numbers again when you log in at hudhomestore.com to submit the bid online. Insert your business address, telephone number, and the name of the selling agent handling the transaction. Enter the purchase price of the transaction. This is the bid amount. If you are writing a bid for the property using FHA 203K financing, don't include the cost of repairs and the purchase price amount. The cost of repairs is added to the sale price to calculate the mortgage amount for that type of financing, but it is not the sale price. If your buyer is using FHA financing or conventional financing and needs seller assistance and help with closing costs, FHA will let the buyer apply 3% of the sale price as seller assistance. The total amount HUD will allow appears to the right of the line on the fillable PDF. In this case, that 3% allowance is $1,860. We will use that number in our example. Selling broker commission can be as much as 3% of the sale price in an amount not to exceed the dollar amount appearing next to this line. You can insert any number on this line between zero and the amount shown. The listing broker commission is calculated automatically on the document you cannot change this number. The net proceeds to HUD is calculated automatically on line 7. This is the number HUD uses to select a winning bid. The bid with the highest net proceeds to HUD is the bid HUD will accept. The amount of earnest money deposit is automatically calculated on the PDF contract form. Select the financing type your buyer will use. In our example, the buyer is purchasing a property offered with FHA financing and a repair escrow. The dollar amount for the escrow is inserted automatically on the PDF form. If the number does not appear, write it in by hand. You can only work with the repair escrow numbers cited on the property detail page. You cannot change that number at this time. Later in this course, we will discuss procedures to amend this number when actual repairs exceed the amount shown. Bear in mind, all FHA repair escrow financing must be less than $5,000. Amounts higher than that require FHA 203K financing. If your buyer wants to accomplish additional repairs beyond the repair escrow, and the cost of those repairs exceeds $5,000, the buyer must use FHA 203K financing. If your buyer would like his bid to be considered as backup to another bid, check the box. Check yes for the lead paste base paint addendum for all properties. There is a fantastic checklist you can use to prepare an owner-occupant sales package after your bid is accepted. Remember, you have 48 hours from the time your bid is accepted to deliver the sales package to the asset manager. Use a trackable delivery method that will guarantee on-time delivery. Do not pinch pennies on this. You do not want to tell your buyers 
his bid acceptance was canceled because you failed to deliver the documents on time. This is the first page of the actual contract with data we inserted on the fillable PDF. We will take a closer look and see what more we should do with this. As you can see, the information we entered on the form appears on the corresponding line in the document. We still have a little work to do, however, prior to having the document signed and prior to sending an accepted bid to the asset manager. Note the top right of the page, there is a red notice that says confirmation number. In the happy event, your bid is accepted, HUD will issue a confirmation number with a notice of acceptance. You will write that confirmation number right there directly above the FHA case number box. Write that number in blue ink. This is not the confirmation number corresponding to online bid submission. This confirmation number applies to accepted bids only. Do some proofreading here and be sure that the information on this form is correct and corresponds exactly to the information you entered on the form. Go to line four where there is financing information and insert the letters TBD on the line corresponding to down payment. TBD means to be determined. HUD prefers to see this notation versus the computation. It prevents the possibility that an agent will calculate the down payment incorrectly in nullifying the contract. Insert the same TBD letters on the next line for mortgage amounts. In this case, our buyer is planning to apply for a 30-year loan, so we are inserting 360 months The bottom part of the page contains the lines for signatures. Use a pen with blue ink. Do not sign or initial anything on this page that notes a place for the seller's signature. The asset manager will sign the contract on behalf of HUD if the bid is accepted. In the meantime, go to paragraph 12. It is written in bold type with a gray highlight. The paragraph requires the buyer's initials as acknowledgement that they understand they must perform according to the contract or they may lose their earnest money as liquidated damages. Next is paragraph 13, where the buyer signed the contract in the block where their names already appear. They must sign their names with initials if their names appear with initials. The designated broker or the designee of that broker must sign where it says signature of broker. Some regions of the country require the designator's designated broker's name on the HUD contract. Other areas of the country are a little more flexible in this regard. Know what your asset manager requires before letting anyone sign who is not the designated broker of the company. The conditions of sale page must be signed by buyers also. This is a very important page and we are going to go over each of the conditions of sale. Paragraph A assures the buyer that all assessments will be paid and prorated as of closing date. Paragraph B is HUD's indemnification clause, stating that HUD makes no representations or warranties concerning the condition of the property. HUD encourages buyers in strong language to have a home inspection performed on the property. HUD will let the buyers finance up to $200 of the cost of the inspection in an FHA mortgage. Paragraph C contains the buyer's promise to comply with financing requests in a timely manner to process the loan. Paragraph D puts the buyer on notice that HUD may rescind the contract and return earnest monies in the event HUD is unable to provide the property with clear title or if the purchaser is deemed to be not an acceptable borrower. The buyer is not allowed to take possession of the property or perform any repairs on the property until settlement. There are absolutely no exceptions to that rule. If there is damage to the property between the time a bid is accepted and the closing date, HUD may, at HUD's discretion, complete the repairs or cancel the contract and return the down monies to the purchaser. Price reduction is another option the asset manager may discuss with you at that time. Read through the paragraphs one at a time so the buyer understands and becomes ready for full compliance if his bid is accepted. Lead paint is a serious concern. Children and adults have suffered severe health consequences following ingestion of lead. 
The HUD Home contract contains caution.